Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions Marie Steak. This was really, really surprising to me, guys, when I saw this on the news. It says four current and former LA Sheriff's Department employees erased by suicidal in a 24 hour span. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Thoughts and prayers goes to the families, and uh, it's really sad to hear the suicidal deaths of four current and former los angeles sheriff's department employees over a 24-hour span have prompted a plea from sheriff robert luna urging deputies to check on the well-being of their colleagues and friends we are stunned to learn of these deaths and it has sent shock waves of emotions throughout the departments as we try to cope with the loss of not just one but four beloved active and retired members of our department family <sighs> luna said in an email statement tuesday during trying time like these it's important for personal regardless of rank or position to check on the well-being of other colleagues and friends it's really surprising and shocking it's like really what would make four four of them decided to say you know what enough is enough i'm done with it four not one but four it's like it's really unbelievable luna said he had the deepest concern for our employees well-being adding that the department was urgently exploring avenues to reduce work stress factors to support our employees' work and personal lives, he said the department's homicide bureau will investigate the deaths. There was no indication that the deaths were related or that foul play was involved, but department sources who spoke on the condition of Anani Ana Nimity because of the ongoing investigation said the third and fourth deaths were discovered as word of the earlier deaths were spreading through the agency luna's comment came a day after the suicides of one former and three current employees which occurred within a 24-hour span that began monday among them was Commander Darren Harris, who became a recognizable figure on TV news over a 25-year career during which he served as a chief department spokesperson. Harris was found erased in his home in Santa Clarita on Monday morning. According to multiple sources, he erased from a self-inflicted gunshot run, said the source who argue, argued to speak with the Times on the condition of anonymity because his death hasn't been publicly acknowledged harris rose steadily through department's ranks with several stop powers and media relations along with things in which he oversaw the transit service bureau and ran the santa clarita station Sometimes after noon Monday, authorities found the body of Greg Hovland, a sergeant who worked in the Antelope Valley before he retired before his retirement at his Quartz Hill home, according to the source. Another employee was found erased shortly after sunset at a residence in Stevenson Ranch. The four death was reported at 7.30 a.m. Tuesday when Chair's homicide detectives responded to a hospital in Pomona where an employee died by suicide. Observers said the suicidal underscored a long-standing problem for law enforcement officers across Los Angeles as elsewhere. In recent years, studies have shown that more officers have died by suicidal than the number killed in the line of duty officers also have higher risk of suicidal than the general 
population a disparity that some researchers have attributed to the stress of police work and the heightening public scrutiny over recent high-profile law enforcement killings combined with their easy access to firearms. The risk is particularly acute among members of smaller departments, researchers say, which tend to have fewer resources available for officers struggling with suicidal thoughts. According to the website Blue, H-E-L-P, which tracks officers' suicides, 81 officers have taken their lives this year across the county, across the country in 2022. There were 172 suicides. In his statement, Luna said the department's psychological service bureau and the injury and health support unit were working to provide counseling and other resources to the family of the officers. Additionally, the department has a peer support program that members can use for additional assistance. Luna said in his statement. Again, guys, it, it was really sad to hear those four officers decided to erase their life. Uh, I don't know how hard could it be for them to not be able to seek help, to decide this is it, too much, it's too much, I can't take it anymore. And um, it is unfortunate. Uh, thoughts and prayers go to the family and hopefully they'll be able to recover subscribe and let me know how you feel bye